Hi friends, it's Sylvia and I'm back with another video. I just wanted to tell you something my friend the other day said, um, a friend that watches my videos, she's like, why are you always reading from a script? Can't you just talk about it? And I'm just like, what script? And I realized that she thought I was reading from a script because I'm looking at the screen as I'm doing this video. Um, I just think it's so weird to look at the dot the whole time. So, for my friend, I am going to start looking at the dot, even though I think it's so weird. But this is a learning experience for me. So anyway, today's video is on a DIY on lip balms. I am obsessed with lip balms. Actually, my whole family is. I always have one in my purse. The girls always have one in their backpacks. My husband always has one in the car. Especially during the winter months, our lips get really chapped and dry, so we're constantly putting on our lip balms. The problem is, with the girls and even myself, I'm always losing them. The girls are always losing them, so I'm constantly replacing them, and it was getting expensive. So I researched and I realized you can do it yourself. You can make a DIY lip balm, and it's so cost efficient, and it's so simple to make. And I feel so great that I know what's exactly going in the lip balm. So today I wanna to share this with you and show you how to make it and show you how simple it is and easy it is. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm back. So I have everything I need, got the music going, always. Um, so I already melted this down. It's a quarter cup of beeswax, a quarter cup of coconut oil. You're going to melt it down in low heat and then um, you're going to get a vitamin E capsule, 1000 IU and squeeze it in there. Okay, mix it up and then you're going to get your essential oils. Today I'm gonna to use lavender and peppermint. So you're gonna use about like 15 to 20 drops of an essential oil of your choice. So I'm gonna do lavender, 10 drops of lavender. Okay, and then I'm also gonna do 10 drops of peppermint. It'll come out. There we go. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, you're gonna mix it up. Okay, and then you're going to get your little tubes, and I got these on Amazon, like 50 of them for really cheap. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have to work fast. You're going to fill up very carefully the lip balm tube and try to fill it up all the way to the top because it'll shrink down and it's okay if you get a little messy because you can always wipe it down so I'll just do three for now so I want you to watch me the whole time do all ten oops like this one like it's about to spill over but that's okay and then one more Okay, so you're gonna let this cool down and it doesn't take very long to cool down. And then when you're done, it'll be all dry. And then you can take like washi tape. I had the girls decorate the, their own and you get these little cute little lip balms that you can carry in your purse. Okay, how easy is that? Sorry guys, the tripod kept falling over. So anyways, I was saying, you can decorate it and liven it up with washi tape, or maybe you wanna use a label maker or do nothing with it at all, whatever you want. So if you want a slightly firmer balm, you can add a tablespoon of beeswax. If you want a slightly softer balm, you can add a tablespoon of coconut oil. So this particular recipe, you can make about um, 10 lip balms at once. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it's something that you'll try, and if you do, let me know how it goes. Thanks guys, I'll see you next week.